Hey guys, Julius McAdam of Projects here, and today what I have is a cap gun powered cap lock airsoft pistol. So what that means is that this uses the caps you'd use in the cap gun to propel a BB out the front. Uh, the files for this are going to be free for the first five days after I upload this video. So check the link down below for that. But let's go and test fire this thing. To assemble this gun, you're going to need a 3D printer. All the part numbers and their settings for printing are displayed on the screen right now. Uh, for ease of explanation, I'll be referring to each part by their number throughout this video when I'm assembling it. For the non-3D printed parts, you're going to need caps, which you can get at a Dollarama. You're going to need 6mm BBs, super glue, and also an elastic band. I got my elastic band from the Alliance Advantage rubber band assorted sizes quarter pound box from Amazon. But any elastic band should do as long as you can get it to generate enough power to ignite the cap. The tools I used to assemble this were a spike and a hook I got an O-ring set from Amazon. But a good pair of needle nose pliers that are long enough to reach inside the gun should be good enough. So we're going to start off here by super gluing part 7 onto part 0. Uh, what part 7 is, it's basically a plug that's going to seal part 0 so that the barrel will be uh, closed. Now the reason that it's open, like shown right now, is that it's easier when you're printing it to uh, push out the supports. Uh, as you can see though, it didn't actually turn out to be that easy to insert this plug. Um, you're going to need some sort of stick or implement, maybe needle nose pliers to uh, push it in. And the uh, gun itself is too small to actually be able to reach your fingers there to insert it, unless you got really small hands, I guess. So step two of this uh, assembly will be inserting part two onto part zero. Now part two is basically the reciprocal for the cap. Um, and what it does, it connects the cap to the barrel so that when it explodes, all that expanding gas is going to go through there into the barrel and propel the BB out. Uh, it's important to apply a liberal amount of glue to this part because you want a good seal so you don't have any gas escaping. After you've let that dry for a bit, you're then going to go and thread the elastic through part zero from the hole in the top, and then hook it on on the other side. So uh, I just have my little implements with me. If you have needle nose pliers, those should work as well. But basically you just got to push it through that top hole, like so. Then I just put it over my finger to hold it in place, take the hook, and then I just got to hook that elastic and then bring it all the way to the other side of part zero and then hook it onto uh, basically a little catch at the end. And this will provide the uh, tension that you need to ignite the, uh, the cap. I'm just showing you kind of what that looks like inside. And then I'm going to take part one, insert it, and the elastic band has to ride over top of that, as you can see inside, like so. And then you're going to take the elastic band and then just hook it on to part one. And like I said, this provides the power so that you can ignite that cap. Now we're going to take part three, is seen here, and we're going to insert that into part zero. This is obviously the trigger. And then we're going to take part four and just insert the pin through the hole. And that will hold part three with part zero. 
when I pull that trigger, it will release the hammer and it will ignite the cap. And this is basically all the uh, mechanics of this gun complete. The only things left really are the, uh, the handle and the trigger guard. Uh, before we do that though, we should test fire it just to make sure everything works properly. To load the gun, you're going to want to cut out a cap from the ring, and then you're going to take that cap and then insert it uh, onto the gun, just underneath the hammer. And then you're going to take your BB, and then you're going to drop it in, and then you're going to use the ramrod to push it down. Now that we've finished test firing it and we can confirm that the mechanics work fine, we can now finish assembling the gun. So we can glue on parts 5 and 6, which are the handle and trigger guard respectively. The final step is to glue on part 8 onto part 1, and what this is going to do is prevent part 1, which is the uh, hammer, from just sliding out the gun. And that's the gun completed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.